So one of the biggest causes of disability is serious falls. And to our surprise, Singapore is one of the highest community fall rates in the world, where one in four older adults suffer a serious fall, breaking big bones. Given the gravity of the issue of serious falls in Singapore, the Lloyd's Register Foundation, Institute for the Public Understanding of Risk, embarked on a research program to understand the perceptions and narratives of bone health and falls. We have a tremendous resource uh, at the Institute whereby we are able to use this 12 billion word platform to analyse online media narratives. So this is 12 billion words uh, consisting of everything that's published online uh, from newspapers, magazines and blogs collected over 10 years from 2010 to last week across 20 countries. So we applied this tremendous resource and platform to understand bone health narratives in Singapore. And we found that 90% of bone health topics were medicalized. It was about osteoporosis and treatment, and only 10% was on prevention. So the conversations about bone health in Singapore are over medicalized and negative. In contrast, in Australia, only 30% of the bone health topics was about osteoporosis and treatment. In fact, the Australia Society, the Osteoporosis Society of Australia, was renamed recently to Healthy Bones Australia, underscoring the need to frame bone health narratives positively and from a preventive perspective. In the second part of the study, we did a nationally representative survey and found a chasm, a big gap between awareness and participation. Now, 60% of older adults who were surveyed were aware about false education and false prevention programs, but only 10% participated. We need to do more to nudge participation. We need to push people not just to be aware, but to actually participate. For starters, I think there are two things we can do. First of all, the program publicity materials need to be in the native language of those we want to help. The older population in Singapore is very heterogeneous, the kinds of languages they speak. Uh, it's not only Mandarin, they speak dialects such as Teochew, Hokkien. They also speak Tamil, they speak Malay. So just purely program information in English and Mandarin doesn't quite communicate directly to the older adults that we want to communicate to. The other strategy is to include uh, and involve caregivers. So instead of communicating directly just to older adults, we also need to communicate to caregivers to get them on board so that caregivers could influence the older adults that they are caring for and bring them some of these false prevention programs. If we can inculcate the prevention mindset, increase participation, then we will be able to increase not just the lifespan, but the health span of those we love and care about. Because living long is not as good as living well.